All right, YouTubers, we just got a new vehicle in the family here. Just picked this one up for the wife. Uh, the younger son is kind of taking an interest in riding the 325 a little bit more. So we're trying to find something that he could ride. Um, we did see a couple Rocketta, like dune buggy go-karts, which they're probably bigger than this. Um, it was like a small car. The guy had two of them. Uh, they barely ran, he said, but I figured I could make two out of, you know, one out of two of them. So he was asking 1700 bucks. But just due to the size and the limited space, we opted to uh, go with another Polaris Ace. Um, this guy was asking 7000 for it. Um, he wasn't a very honest seller. He uh, posted pictures of this machine when he bought it. And when the wife inquired about it, he was asking, I seen he was asking seven, the one she was looking at. And then I found him on this, another site for six. So I told him the, to, I told her to offer him 5,500. So at that point, he's all like, well, I'll be honest with you. It does have some damage, which he did not disclose to begin with. I don't know why, just to not, an honest seller but we do have a broken pan here a bed pan and um the fender's cracked here so that's that and then this fender looks like it got bumped so it is cracked under here as well and then i just repaired this piece here so you can see it's a little bit cracked right there a little bit pushed out there um how much I can do with that. That's where we replace it. Um, this did have a crack up there. I did plastic weld that all back together. So that way we didn't have to spend a few, I think this was like 150 bucks just for that lid. But it is cracked right here as well. I did put some plastic weld on there or just like touched it up. So I uh, just melted some plastic into it and then put some pins underneath it. Plastic welded the pins underneath. Um, like I said, this is a 900. The other one we have is a 325. This does have the power steering unit in here, which makes it real nice, but it's really squirrely. Um, I got a four wheel drive right now, just cause when I step on the throttle, this thing just wants to go every which way, but straight. So I'm gonna get everything to service this ordered up and then we'll take it as needed with ordering the plastic stuff and any other stuff that it might need. But um, I have a strong suspicion something's bent in the steering. So if this is dead center, I think that driver's side has got some issues there. I don't know if you can see but it's a little, I mean, I'm not sure about the lean. It looks like it's a little too far, but it could just be my imagination. But I definitely think we have a bent rod or something in there. Um, like I said, this guy wasn't very honest. He says he was the original owner. Um, got a lot of con conflicting uh, information from him. What am I hearing? Oh, what's that? You. got four new tires coming i got all the fluids and the cv axle and then we'll just order some parts slowly here and there uh, eventually i want to take that i mean that cage is gonna to have to come off to replace that back piece and that front so kind of want to do that all at once and then um, I'll just paint up the roll cage a little bit better, sand it down, make it look a little nicer. You know, these, these scuffs here, you know, nobody wants to see that, so. Um, but our intentions are with this are just to keep it. Um, we're going to keep the two yellow quads, my quad, and then we'll let the kids drive the, uh, smaller ace. So that's where we are with this video. Stay tuned for some more videos on servicing it and replacing some parts on it we'll do some more videos on that i don't see a lot of uh, videos on these polaris ace 
vehicles on YouTube. I mean, there's some driving stuff, but I don't see many maintenance ones. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to definitely replace the belt as well. Basically, we're going to start fresh with all new everything. That way I know it's been done because I don't know, you know, the oil looks clean, but you know, just this guy wasn't very honest at all. So, um, you know, I looked it over and I got him down to five, but he, he, he definitely didn't want to let it go for that but you know once again like i said he was definitely not an honest seller so guys just do your due diligence when you're out there buying stuff make sure you look it over make sure you know what you're looking at know what you're looking for and go from there